Free. This one's the WWE champions. Pay to win like every day, yeah. I don't play ball games. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Me. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. So, yesterday was React Day, okay? And during React Day on DSP Reacts, I watched a skit that was about how guys always seem to skip leg day, right? Now, honestly, I don't even know the meme, but I guess the meme is that people who work out regularly don't like leg day because leg day is the hardest day. It's like the most painful, grueling day, all right? Now, I don't understand this because when I used to work out, leg day was the easiest day for me, okay? And this is just me being honest. This was like a long time ago when I was lifting weights, but when I did this, leg day was the easiest day for me, always. I thought it was the, easy, the easiest exercises, okay? So why is it, right? Well, we were talking about this yesterday on the show. And I said, it's because for some reason, don't ask me why, because I don't even know how this started or anything, right? I've always walked on my toes. I do. I walk on my toes. I don't know why. I feel better at balance standing on my toes than I do standing flat on my feet. And it's not that I never stand flat on my feet. It's when I walk. When I'm standing still, I'm standing flat. But when I walk, I literally am walking on my toes, okay? And <clears throat> a lot of people say, what, why? Yeah, I don't know. You, I really have no clue. I've, it's always been like that, okay? Now, the thing is, I actually didn't even notice this or know much about it. And then it was around the mid-2000s, okay? And I had some friends over. This is, this is when I was living in an apartment, a shared apartment with two other roommates, okay? And I was having a party. And I was basically like uh, in shorts that day. And a lot of my friends had never seen me in shorts because, you know, in the Street Fighter days, you go to arcade, you're wearing jeans or whatever. You wouldn't be in shorts. So a lot of people had never seen me in shorts before. So they came over to my place and they said, Phil, yo, your, your legs are like jacked. And I was like, what? I had never even heard anyone say that to me before or whatever. You know, this is, I was in my like mid 20s. Okay. This is like a long time ago. They're like, yeah, dude. Like your legs are like like buff, which is shocking because you know we didn't know that you had such buff legs or whatever. I'm like what? So you know I look into it. It's like it's because I'm walking on my toes all the time. All of my leg muscles are large, like both my calves as well as you know like my thigh muscles are all very like lean and strong and big. And I don't work out or anything like that. I don't. So it's just because, again, because I've walked on my toes my whole life. So when I used to lift weights, leg day was easy for me because my muscles were already big down there. So leg day was like, this is not a big deal. And I would always like, like, you know, just turbo through it and it didn't hurt and it wasn't a big deal. Everything else, the whole upper body stuff, that's where it was work for me. And I, you know, I'm buffing up and I'm doing all the upper body exercises was always the tougher thing for me. But the lower, the lower body was always easy. So. I guess this is, uh, you know, the meme or whatever. It just doesn't make sense to me because what's the big deal? You know, this is me. I watch the meme on the re React show. And that's just my, my reaction. That's what I say. So we move on, right? And now people are like, oh, this is my detractors, right? They have nothing to do. They literally have nothing to talk about anymore. Because the fucking champions meme is over with. There's nothing they could say about that. All the old shit they used to say, it's all been addressed. It's done. Right? So they're like, well, I can't believe that Phil said that on the show. He's full of it. And you might think, I'm exaggerating. Dude, there was like a giant thread on Twitter about it. There were a couple of them made videos about it. I'm not kidding you. This is what they were talking about yesterday. That Phil says he has giant buff legs and he's lying about it. It's just another thing he does. He's such a liar. He li literally every day he just makes lies about everything. Like, and I'm thinking to myself, I could understand if, like, it was, like, something important, right? Why would you think that I would lie about my legs or walking on my toe? Like, what does it even matter? It doesn't, I don't, I don't, I'm not better than anyone because I might have big calves. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not one of these guys who's, like, a gym rat 
who all I care about is how my body looks because that's my one value in life. The only piece of work that I get out of my life is that I have a muscled body. I don't care if I have a muscled body. I have no reason for a muscled body. It would go to waste if I had it because I don't need a muscled body or anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like this is a flex because I said that. I'm literally just stating facts during my react show. I was like, that's why I didn't understand the meme. The meme was that guys always skip leg day because they say it's the hardest day of the week. And there's jokes there about how this guy create, you know, silly ways that, oh, I accidentally skipped leg day. But I would, I never would have skipped leg day. That's the point I'm making. Like leg day was the easy day for me. Well, I don't get it. Why? Because I have big legs. You're a liar, Phil. Phil lies about everything. He's a liar. There's no way he could have big legs. Okay. So last night, I'm like, watch this. Because I know exactly what's going to happen. Because I'm not stupid anymore. I, I, I'm kind of slide all this, this shit, right? So I said, okay, I'm going to do something and watch the reaction to this, how stupid this is going to be. All right, you ready? So on, on Twitter, well, I guess you should say X. Or does it even fucking matter what you call it at this point? Probably not, right? So I do a post. Today on stream, I watched a skip leg day skit, and I didn't get it. Because I said I'd never skipped leg day because I have giant calves. Because I've walked on my toes my entire life. My detractors think I'm lying. Here is my leg right now. You be the judge. Why would I even lie about this one? All right. And so I took just a picture of my leg. And it's all it is. And as you can see, that's the leg sitting on my couch. So the calf muscle is kind of like flattened and stretched out. All right. But, I mean, it's huge. <laughs> I have big, giant calf muscles. I do. Okay. So I put the picture up and I said, watch this shit. I said, watch the reaction that this is going to get, right? Because these people are so easy to content farm. They're just so dumb. <laughs> so I guarantee you, because I took a picture of my leg, this is going to get tons of, like, attention. I guarantee it. So what do you think happened? Do you think that two people saw it and said, wow, that's just a leg, it's not a big deal? Or do you think that this guy... A ton of responses and a ton of attention. What do you think happened? <laughs> anyway, so let's scroll down. You ready? Now, I, I don't even know if this is updated. 62 responses, 20 retweets, 177 likes, 10 people bookmarked my leg. Oh, man, the king's leg. I have to bookmark this immediately. Very important content here. Yes. Things are getting hairy, folks, and I don't need my leg. It is hairy, but that's not what I mean. So scrolling down. See, I don't understand how, how it works because I don't think this is in any particular order. Like you scroll down and there's all this content, but I don't know. It doesn't like order it. So it's all in like the most random order and shit. And I can't tell like what the order is. So first off, as you can see, it's not like this is the first time that I've ever shown my legs. Here's a clip from ages ago, with my old fuzzy camera back when I still had my couch. Okay. And you can clearly see in this clip, both of my calves are huge. And Roy, as I'm falling, because I guess I was jumping onto the couch and this is a still frame. Those are my real calves. This is not, you know, this was not edited. This is the real picture of me falling. And it's funny. People are like, are your legs dabbing? Yeah, I guess they are. I have no idea what this picture is from. But this is back when I had the, the love seat. So probably I was like jumping onto the love seat. My, my legs flew into the air or something. I have no idea what, when this happened. I mean, it's so old. Those are my old headphones there too. So, but yeah, it's just funny. Like, look at this. Wee! Floating into the air with these, these big calves popping off of my legs right so they the detractors are trying to contain their calf envy right now looks like it's in need of a good scratch i think we know what that's a reference to right solid looking leg solid looking leg my calves are so inferior <laughs> oh my <lo> oh <laughs> oh brother i mean things that i've muted i'm not gonna unmute because it's probably some disgusting freak. Failed. It's an extremely average calf on an extremely at atrophied leg. An atrophied leg. 
They think that this is an atrophied leg. Does that really? What on this leg says atrophy exactly? I'm curious, right? Listen, if you want to say that's just a normal leg, fair enough. Fair enough. Big deal, right? Atrophy. He has to take a stab at the leg. Atrophied leg. I'll have you let you know that when I was re running regularly on the treadmill for a year, all right, my leg looked exactly the same. It wasn't any different. And I was running literally every other day. I was running for like a good hour. So an hour of running like three, four times a week. My leg looked exactly the same, right? It's like, what are you talking about? Atrophy leg? Weird people. This is, oh, this is great. You ready for this one? You're so fit, King. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, these people are something else. These people are absolutely something else, dude. They're so funny. So, first off, all right. First off, we're talking about legs. The discussion is about legs. So what this person does, right, is they show this. That's nothing to do with legs whatsoever, right? That's number one, okay? Number two, I know that I'm still a little overweight. I'm 100. I just weighed myself the other day. I'm 195 pounds, okay? So I'm roughly around 10, 15 pounds overweight. I am. When I, I remember when I was young. And I was in my early 20s, and I went to the doctor. And the, the doctor had said, so FYI, now that you're a, a developed adult, your key weight is to be between 180 to 185. Like, if you can maintain between 180 to 185 your whole life, that's the weight you want for your height and your build. That's what you want. So I'm probably around 10, 15 pounds overweight. Yeah, I've got chubbiness all around. You know what they call it? The spare tire or whatever. I got the spare tire. Yeah, you got a little, I got a little bit of fat on my body. But the funny part is when you when you do that clip, even if I were buff and I did that, it would still wiggle because the only people that don't wiggle are people who are completely flat chested because they have absolutely no muscle whatsoever. They never developed any muscle there. Those are the people who would go like this and nothing happens. Even people who are buff, when they go like that, they move because there's something there. You see? So actually, the whole point is, you're right. I'm a man with developed muscles and shit. So when I move, they move. Get it? Like, if you do that, it's like if you're a flat-chested idiot, you get no movement whatsoever. But again, you have to actually be like an intelligent adult who's had, like, muscles to know that. And these people who criticize are morons. These people, these are flat-chested losers who have never lifted anything in their life, never done any physical activity in their life, literally will never be touched by another human. They live in a basement, sitting on the internet, editing clips like that to post up, I got him! Ha ah! ha! No, you got nothing at all. You're a fucking loser. How about you post your picture, right? Where's yours? I don't think you're ever going to do that. <laughs> we know that. So what the fuck is your point? It's the ultimate, like, stupid bitch move. Like, there's no, you have no point. It's not even appropriate to what we're talking about, legs. And no one said that I was a skinny twig. We know this. I, I've admitted that I, I am still a little bit overweight. And I'm looking, you know, to eventually to get to that ideal body weight. You know, and I probably will if I stay the course of what I've been doing, eating better, not drinking soda and crappy stuff with extra sugars and things like that. And if I start to feel worn out or, or you know, I feel I over hit the treadmill and I could do that. I'm fine with that. I just get into the habit. And I do it. and It's fine. So I may eventually get to the ideal weight, which would be great to be my age, but to be hit my ideal body weight, which is what I should have. It's good. It's a good thing. Right. Um, a couple of quick shout outs. Alex from Phoenix did a super chat. I'm killing myself in the gym for those calves. Here you come making me envious, laughing my ass off. Yeah, it's again, I'm, I just, I've literally been walking. Whenever I walk, I walk on my toes. And it's just happened my whole life. It's not like I plan to do it. It's not like, you know what I mean? It just always has been like that. And it made my calves huge. <laughs> I just, it's a fact. It's not me lying or making something up. What would I benefit from that? Do you think I care? Do you think we're going to get into the calf contest? Maybe I should. Maybe I should say, it's the calves all the ladies want and all the men desire. And I am the master of calves and you are a plebeian loser. The king of calves here on DSP Gaming. <laughs> you see how stupid this is? Anyway. Uh, I okay, we did it. We got a $2 tip. 
So we have a new tip uh, leader here. Here you go. This person says, the best part about the leg tweet is that the detractors are suddenly fitness experts and they're coping and posting pictures of their calves or bench pressing, really straining. Thank you for the entertainment that you have spawned on your timeline. Yes, that you're welcome. I mean, again, that was the point. The whole point is I don't care if people think that I have big calves or not, but it's so easy to make content from these people because they're so stupid, right? So that's an anonymous $2 tip. That gets us up to $3 in tips for the King's, uh, the King's tips goal today. Who's going to be the $3 tipper that's going to unseat this $2 anonymous tipper and take the throne for top tip? Let's find out who's going to be number three. Okay. Very nice. Continuing on. Gin drinking hard today. No, I wasn't drinking at all, actually, at all when I posted that picture. Calfzilla. I wish I have something called, well, whatever that is, and I have to get surgery for it. I can walk fine, but my toes are not sustainable. Well, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't think you're supposed to walk on your toes, right? A doctor would probably say you have bad posture and stuff if you do that. I just, I just have done it. I don't know what else to say. I just done it my whole life. Now, detractors will never skip leg day in the hopes of felting the king. You're right. Look, people are actually posting up pictures of their own calves now. Now, there's a, smi a slight difference between this calf and mine. As you're going to notice, this is one big bulky muscle. And then we have my tendons and bone to my foot. This guy is like a giant chunk. I think what it is is his leg is much shorter than mine. So he doesn't really have the length. He just has the muscle. and it like You know what I mean? Just a shorter leg. Your leg is jayocked and roided. How many creatine shakes do you have to drink to get that, bro? <laughs> there you go. Thirst trap. Yo, you're posting your toes for free. This person wants me to delete the tweet. Should I delete the tweet? I mean, we all know this kind of tweet is very harmful to everyone. So perhaps I should just delete it right now before it gets before it goes too far you know before this tweet reaches all of humanity and the next thing you know everyone must by default post up pictures of their legs and calves right it's very dangerous content <laughs> there you go daxma says usually tweets like that are hidden behind a paywall well maybe hold on i have i have um i'm on the twitter premium stuff right x premium can i can i hide this behind a paywall i can promote it Hold on. How do I hide it behind a paywall? Let's see. <laughs> we got community note it and be like, warning, this is a dangerous picture. So here we go. When being a liar, credibility is difficult to regain. Here's a secret. It never fully recovers. And no, I'm not a critic or a fan, just human to human. All you or anyone can do is try and be better. Well, did I not show in this very tweet the evidence that I wasn't lying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I outright show the picture that's the evidence of what I said. So now I'm not lying. Right? So, I mean, isn't that the first step? Is that I didn't just talk. I also backed it up with a fact. I mean, so there you go. If Giga Chad was a leg, this is possibly the greatest tweet in DSP history. You know, there was the tweet when Pro Jared was exposed for all his drama. And then I clap tweeted back at him at a tweet that he had tweeted at me years before, but I never responded when he just attacked me for no good reason. That was a good tweet. Some people have said that was their favorite tweet. It was the tweet when I clapped back at the Oscars when Will Smith was allowed to slap Chris Rock across the mouth and then they awarded him with an Oscar in the same night. Remember that? That one was pretty good. But apparently this one, is the best tweet ever. This is the best tweet I've ever put out. It's that important. It's that exciting, right? <laughs> Show my other calf. You did. Look. They're, they're the same. My calves are the same. They're exactly the same. They're both very large. I don't have one abnormally large calf and one small calf. I have two very large calves from walking on my toes. And even look, even the leg muscles under the leg are actually quite buff too. Again, from walking on my toes. There you go. Now, this is funny. BMI indicator, right? So this is wrong. First of all, this is wrong, too. I'm actually 5'11", and I am 195 pounds, which means that I'm overweight. I know that. I'm slightly overweight, actually. 
Where did he get this from? BMI calculator? Can you find this somewhere? Uh, here you go. BMI calculator for men. Is this it? No, it looks different. What the fuck? What is all this shit? I can say, get out of my face. Here. So I'm five foot, 11 inches, and I weigh 195 pounds currently. Calculate. So your BMI is 27.8. Wait, I, how did I get 10? I put in 11, I thought. Wait, why did you say 194? I typed in 195. What is going on here? I swear I typed in 195. You're messing with me. Okay, get the fuck out of here. So, healthy weight would be 18.5 to 24.9, and I am 25 to 29.9. So I'm really right just above it. Right. I'm just above it. There you go. So I'm considered slightly overweight, but not obese. Obese would have been if I went to the 30, right? Which I'm not. I'm, I'm basically around here. And I agree. Like I said, I could weigh at least about 15 more pounds. And then the doctor said that I would have been, uh, you know, actually my ideal body weight. So that's correct. Okay. So fair enough. I mean, I don't know what this person was getting at, but it's, yeah, it's pretty correct. Like I said, I, I would like to be in here and maybe I will be eventually, right? <laughs> I guess. I know, because it's not a big deal. You understand that this isn't a big deal, but that's the thing. Again, the, the point I'm making here isn't that I have buff calves. Nobody cares that I have buff calves. The fact is I made a very normal observation, correct? That a normal person would make like okay i don't get this meme because i never had problem with leg day well why not phil because actually i have big calves and, and buff legs because i walk on my toes my whole life so leg day was easy for me all the other exercises were much harder the leg day was like the easy day for me oh phil's a liar phil's full of it phil's like so this is that's what i'm emphasizing here it's not that my legs are buff or not buff nobody cares the point is that the detractors have nothing to talk about anymore they're so boring that now me saying that I have big legs actually like makes their heads fucking explode. Like brain matter is shot all over the ceiling because they can't take the fact that, you know, they have nothing to talk about anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, we can keep going. <laughs> Look, you can think Titan salad. Keep us updated with progress picks. Looking freaking huge, man. And then, of course, there's the people who, of course, have to go to something incredibly negative, and they say, oh, so you, you're autistic because you walk on your toes. It's just insane. You're artistic because you walk on your toes. Hmm. You would think that possibly, just maybe, there'd be some other signs that would be stronger than walking on your toes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And here's the other thing too, right? People, like, it's the same thing. Like, people used to say stuff like, ha, huh, well, maybe you're retarded or something, right? It's 2024. Those, those, that's like, it's not even an insult anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, back in the day, you would say something like that. Like, aha, uh -huh, you're art, you might be artistic or you're retarded or something. That's not, it's 2024. You missed the boat on this one. Those were insults from decades ago. They don't even apply anymore. Today, even if someone was autistic, right? It doesn't matter. It's fine. There's tons of people out there who are different levels of autistic, and they're all fully functioning members of society who are, aren't ass bag A loggers. You understand? Like, they're fine people. There's nothing wrong. Even if that were the case, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? But that's these people use it as an insult. Oh, don't you know that walking on your toes is a sign of autism? Who cares? Even if it was, it doesn't fucking matter. You have no point. That's what I mean. They really are grasping at such fucking straws to try to insult me these days. Even the things that they're saying don't make sense. It's like there's no, you have no point at all to what you're saying. There's no insult there. <laughs> but they don't get that. Unreal. Uh, I think I think that at this point you see this is funny. It's not a puma. Yes, because. It's definitely a giant tumor on both of my legs in exactly the same spot that's co totally proportional. Two identical tumors on the back of my two legs. Exactly. That would be something. Like, that would be a freakish thing. Imagine that. It really is two tumors. Tumors. 
Um, oh, God, someone else showed their their leg. See, this is weird because their legs don't look like mine. Like, it looks like they all have short legs. These people who took the pictures have tiny legs. So it's like super stubby and short. So there's their calf muscle, but there's like no ankle just right to the foot. Right? I mean, look at that compared to this. Look, I have a giant, long, developed bone and structure there into the foot. These people are just like calf foot. Like the foot's here. <laughs> you know? Maybe it, maybe it is the angle. You're right. Maybe it is the angle. Or maybe it's because I'm, I'm, I'm tall. You know? It could be that. Maybe. I don't know. It just looks weird. Oh, my God. Another one. Actually, that is a well-developed calf muscle right there. Fair enough. That is an actual, very well-developed calf muscle, right? That's right. There you go. Listen, look at this. You see what I'm saying? What is wrong with these people? Even if this were true, right? How is this an insult? Why do I need to get evaluated? What are you talking about? Like, dude, Brandon Vasquez, what the fuck is your problem? Are you a fucking bigot or something? Really? Like, what a fucked up thing to say. Right? Like, huh? <laughs> Unreal. Anyway, so I think I think we've seen enough, right? All right, I think we've definitely seen enough of this nonsensical stuff. I think that's the end of this topic. So, so just so you know, all right, you ready? You got some idiot named DSP who's a total piece of shit, by the way. I like to I like to get that on YouTube.